had to prove that there was no weapons of mass destruction or else they would kill him. I got it. But in the meantime, oh yeah, he couldn't prove. He couldn't prove that he didn't have weapons of mass destruction. Get the hair off of there. And uh, so they killed him. Because he had no proof that he didn't have the weapons of mass destruction. But Dr. Tony Elf gets to be the savior, the boogeyman savior. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. You can see the old pictures. They're almost laughing when they're talking about weapons of mass destruction. They're almost laughing. But you can see the guy behind him. Why not? If he hasn't proved it, he doesn't have the weapons of mass destruction. Until he proves that he doesn't have the weapons of mass... How can he show something if he doesn't have them, though? So, how do you know he has them? And who has seen them? Was it verified? That's like so many people believe in the resurrection story of Jesus. Why? Has it been verified? Has it even been verified by the signs that would accompany the true believers in Mark 16? 17 through 20. Has it been verified through the signs that would accompany the true believers? So you have three fallacies here. Falsities. It doesn't matter. The the so-called skeptics will straighten that out for me. My point is how they use and manipulate people's minds. There's no words. There's no words. Just quite a bit of a mess. They use people's minds through the propaganda, written propaganda, too. Oh, there were witnesses in the Bible. They would stand up in court. There's no, you can't, you have to go to court. You can't send a list of your witnesses and sit back at home. Well, I sent you a list of my witnesses, didn't you? That's insane. So you have a world of propaganda, gangsta, propaganda, propagangsta. And so many people are just believing it. Do I know everything? No, but I know when the shit stinks and smells fishy. And that's why we're in this condition in the world now, because of propaganda. Written, verbalized, televised, telling lies. Oh, there she comes. You hear me talking? At least someone believes me. <laughs> so it's getting a little warm out here today, isn't it? Getting a little warmer out now. Still here living with these stupid, crazy earthlings, I'll tell you that. In the meantime, many of you are arguing over the shape of the earth. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. The world's gone mad.